Do you want to play with us? I guess so. What's wrong, Spike? You sound down. I think I am, Hazel. It's hard staying in the house all the time. Spike, we could go ask to go outside in the backyard. I know, but it's not the same. It would be better if we could play with our friends. I miss Kaysen and our other friends, too. I know exactly what you mean. I miss playing dolls with Nuffy and having tea time. I don't understand why we can't see our friends. It's because of the coronavirus. Hey there, children. How are you two doing with each other? Spike is feeling down, Auntie Sandra. Why is that, Spike? It's because he misses his friends. Hazel Love, let Spike speak. Tell me what's wrong, Spike. Mommy, I just really miss spending time with my friends. I miss Nuffy too, Auntie Sandra. Why can't we see our friends? Renee, do you mind joining me? The kids have some questions for us. Of course, what's going on? They don't understand why they can't see their friends. And why we can't go outside. Well, you can go outside in the backyard. We just can't go to the playground like we used to because of the coronavirus pandemic. What is pandemic? A pandemic is when the whole world is dealing with an illness or disease. Right now, the entire world is being impacted by the virus. A lot of people are getting sick from each other. The way we prevent ourselves from getting sick is to limit who we are around. So everyone on the planet is having to stay home like us? Well, everyone is affected. But there are a group of people who are called essential workers, and they still have to work in order for our world to function. The doctors, nurses, ambulance workers, firefighters, and police officers are all still working to fight the virus and help keep us safe. Then there are the grocery workers who keep the shelves stocked, the truck drivers who deliver the food to all the grocery stores, the delivery personnel who delivers all our packages, transportation workers, and so many other people who keep our world running. So they get to be outside and live life while we are stuck inside? It's not like that, Spike. These people are risking a lot to provide us with the things we need. And they aren't just living their lives. A lot has changed for them as well. In order for them to work, they must wear protective gear like gloves, masks, and face visors. Yeah, I don't really get what all that stuff is for. You can never see anyone's face. Hazel, the protective gear is to help stop the spread of the virus. When you wear the mask, it stops germs from spreading and can stop you from breathing in germs. So when we leave the house and are near other people, we make sure to wear our protective gear. Also, when we are near people, we try to stay six feet away from them. Why is that, Auntie Renee? It's the recommended distance. If you get any closer, the virus has a better chance of being transmitted. If this virus is so bad, why don't we just kill it? Oh, Spike, I wish it was so easy. The virus is a new virus that the world has never seen before in humans. So right now, there is no cure or vaccine to treat it. However, there are a lot of scientists and researchers out there in the world right now trying to find a cure and vaccine. What exactly is a virus in the first place? A virus is a very, very, very tiny germ that you cannot see. Viruses can't do anything if they are by themselves. They need a living thing to attach themselves to. So the virus goes into our bodies and makes a home. I don't want a virus living in me. Of course not. It can make us sick. Once the virus gets into our bodies, it goes into our cells, uses a special key to unlock the cell's door, and goes inside the cell. When the virus gets inside the cell, it makes copies of itself to spread to our other cells. The virus produces so much of itself, our normal cells end up dying and not working the way they should. When this happens, we will get sick. That sounds horrible. It is horrible, Spike. And the worst part is, we don't know how it will affect certain people. Some people get the virus and their bodies are able to fight it off with no problem. They may never even know they had the virus. Other people's bodies may have a much harder time fighting the virus, and they get very sick. They may even die. Oh no, I don't like that. 
No one does. That's why it's important for us to protect ourselves from getting the virus. I really don't like this. It's very scary. I just want it to end. When will it end, Mommy? I don't know, Spike. There isn't much more we can physically do to protect ourselves. But spiritually, we can pray. Do you think prayer will really help? Absolutely, Hazel. Through the power of prayer, anything is possible. That's if you pray and believe. You must believe. That is the key. What should we pray for? You can pray that all your loved ones stay healthy during this time. We can pray that whoever is sick gets better. That's a good one, Hazel. You can also pray for the safety of all the people who are still working to make our world operate. I will pray for all this to end and for things to go back to normal. I don't want to miss out on going to school. I like that prayer, Spike. We can also pray that God opens the minds of all the scientists and researchers to let them find a cure for the virus. Good one, sis. Thanks, Renee. I'm glad we can pray. But when I get sad because I miss my friends, what should I do? You keep praying and thank God for all that you do have. Pray that you'll be able to see your friends again. Thank God that you have your cousin to play with. Thank God for the house you live in and the food that is still on your table. Even though this is a tough time, there is so much to be grateful for. And you can't lose sight of that. Plus, you can video chat with your friends and draw them pictures. I do like to draw. Thank you, Mommy and Auntie Renee. I do feel much better. I'll make sure I pray and believe things will get better. Wonderful. I know something else that would make you both feel better. What's that, Auntie Sandra? Putting icing on the cupcakes we just baked. They should be cool by now. Oh yeah, that would do the trick. Let's go before Lucky Diamond get to it first. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. James chapter 5 verse 16 And we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14